A tale of two monkeys, introducing old world and new world primates. Among these remarkable creatures, monkeys stand out for their intelligence, agility and complex social structures. Monkeys are broadly categorized into two distinct groups, old world monkeys and new world monkeys. This division reflects fundamental differences in their evolutionary history, geographical distribution and physical characteristics. Join us as we embark on a journey to understand the key distinctions between these captivating creatures. Our exploration will take us from the lush rainforests of South America to the African savannas, unveiling the unique adaptations that have allowed these primates to thrive in their respective environments. Get ready to be amazed by the wonders of the primate world. Worlds apart, unveiling the geographical divide. Old world monkeys are found in Africa and Asia, appearing in ancient myths, religious texts and cultural stories. Imagine the bustling markets of Marrakesh, where Barbary macaques entertain tourists, or the sacred temples of India, where rhesus macaques are revered. In contrast, New World monkeys inhabit Central and South America. These monkeys evolved in isolation after the continents drifted apart, leading to unique characteristics. Picture the vibrant Amazon rainforest, where spider monkeys swing through the canopy, or the cloud forests of the Andes, where howler monkeys fill the air with their resonant calls. a nose for distinction exploring physical traits. One of the most striking differences between Old World and New World monkeys lies in their physical appearance, particularly their noses. These differences are not just superficial, but are deeply rooted in their evolutionary history. Old World monkeys, such as baboons and macaques, have nostrils that are closely spaced and point downwards, earning them the nickname Katarines. This unique nasal structure is thought to be an adaptation to their specific environments. New World monkeys, on the other hand, possess nostrils that are widely spaced and open to the sides, giving them the moniker platyrines. This feature is particularly advantageous for their arboreal lifestyles. Think of the capuchin monkeys with their inquisitive expressions, or the squirrel monkeys whose small size and agility make them perfectly adapted for life in the trees. Their physical traits are a testament to their survival skills in dense forest canopies. Old world monkeys often possess prominent brow ridges, giving them a more robust appearance. These features are not just for show, they play a role in social interactions and protection. Furthermore, many old world monkeys have cheek pouches for storing food, a feature absent in their new world relatives. This adaptation allows them to gather and store food quickly, which is crucial for their survival in competitive environments. These physical traits highlight the evolutionary paths these primates have taken. Each trait, from the shape of their noses to the presence of cheek pouches, tells a story of adaptation and survival in diverse habitats. Adapting to the environment, habitat and lifestyle. The contrasting environments of the old world and the new world have shaped the lifestyles and adaptations of these primate groups. Old world monkeys exhibit a wider range of habitats and lifestyles. Some, like baboons and macaques, are primarily terrestrial, spending most of their time on the ground. Other old world monkeys, like the colobus monkeys, are primarily arboreal, dwelling in the trees. New world monkeys, in contrast, are predominantly arboreal. The lush rainforests of Central and South America have provided ample opportunities for these monkeys to evolve a dazzling array of adaptations for climbing and leaping. Some, like the spider monkeys, possess prehensile tails which act as a fifth limb. The bony framework unveiling skull and dental differences. Today, we delve into the fascinating world of primate anatomy, focusing on the skull and dental differences between Old World and New World monkeys. Beneath the skin and fur, the skeletal structures of Old World and New World monkeys reveal further clues to their evolutionary history. These differences are not just superficial, but are deeply rooted in their distinct evolutionary paths. Old World monkeys tend to have more pronounced brow ridges, giving their skulls a more robust appearance. This robust structure is a key identifier and plays a significant role in their social interactions. This feature is particularly prominent in males and is linked to social signaling and dominance displays. The pronounced brow ridges help in establishing hierarchy within groups. New World monkeys typically have flatter faces and less pronounced brow ridges. This gives them a more delicate and less aggressive appearance compared to their Old World counterparts. Dental structure also reveals significant variations between the two groups. These differences in teeth are adapted to their varied diets and lifestyles. 
Old world monkeys possess 32 teeth with a dental formula of 2123. This dental arrangement is suited for their omnivorous diet, which includes fruits, leaves, and small animals. Their canines are typically large and prominent, particularly in males. These large canines are used not only for eating, but also for defense and social dominance. New World monkeys have 36 teeth, with a dental formula of 2133. This extra set of premolars is an adaptation to their diet, which is rich in fruits and insects. Their canines are generally smaller and less pronounced, reflecting differences in diet and social behavior. These smaller canines are more suited to their less aggressive social structures and feeding habits. Societies in miniature contrasting social structures. The social lives of monkeys are as diverse and complex as the environments they inhabit. Old world monkeys exhibit a wide range of social structures, from solitary foragers to large multi-male, multi-female troops. Baboons live in troops that can number in the hundreds, with a strict social order maintained through aggression, grooming and alliances. New world monkeys tend to live in smaller, more cohesive groups. These groups are often centered around a monogamous pair and their offspring with cooperative breeding practices being common. Marmosets and tamarins typically give birth to twins and the father and older siblings play an active role in caring for the young. Spotlight on species iconic representatives from two worlds. Today, we explore the fascinating lives of two distinct primates that represent the diversity of the monkey world. To further illustrate the distinctions between Old World and New World monkeys, let's delve into the lives of two iconic representatives, the mandrill and the howler monkey. These species not only inhabit different continents, but also exhibit unique behaviors and adaptations. The mandrill, an Old World monkey found in the rainforests of Central Africa, is renowned for its striking facial coloration and impressive size. This species is one of the most colorful mammals in the animal kingdom. Males sport vibrant blue and red hues on their faces and rumps, serving as visual signals for attracting mates and intimidating rivals. These colors become more pronounced during mating season, highlighting their role in social dynamics. Mandrills live in large, complex troops led by a dominant male. These troops can consist of hundreds of individuals, showcasing intricate social structures and hierarchies. Their diet consists primarily of fruits, seeds and insects, playing a crucial role in seed dispersal. By consuming a variety of foods, they help maintain the ecological balance of their habitat. The howler monkey, a new world monkey inhabiting the forests of Central and South America, is famous for its thunderous vocalization. These calls can be heard up to three miles away, making them one of the loudest land animals. These calls are used to mark territory, attract mates and defend resources. The howler monkey's vocal prowess is a key aspect of its survival and social interaction. Howler monkeys are primarily folivorous with specialized digestive systems for extracting nutrients from leaves. Their slow metabolism allows them to thrive on a diet that many other animals find difficult to digest, showcasing their unique adaptation to their environment. A legacy of diversity celebrating primate adaptations. The contrasting features and lifestyles of Old World and New World monkeys are a testament to the power of evolution. Separated by vast oceans and millions of years, these primates have developed unique adaptations. From the downward-facing nostrils of Old World monkeys to the prehensile tails of some New World monkeys, each characteristic tells a story of adaptation and survival. Their social structures reflect the challenges and opportunities presented by their surroundings. A call to observation, appreciating the wonders of the primate world. As we conclude our exploration, let us remember that these fascinating creatures are more than just subjects of scientific study. They are our primate cousins, sharing a common ancestor and a remarkable evolutionary journey. I encourage you to delve deeper into the world of primates to learn more about their species, conservation challenges, and how we can contribute to their protection. By appreciating the wonders of the primate world, we gain a greater understanding of ourselves and our place in the web of life.